How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs Help Channel. And for most of us that are doing DIY electrical projects around the house in the United States, we're most used to Romex. But every once in a while we need to use something like metal clad cable, let's say when you're running power to a furnace like I did, but I wanna help you avoid the mistake I made where I was using the wrong connector. We should not be using our standard connectors that we might use for Romex when running into metal junction boxes. There are specific connectors that are gonna make a more safe and secure connection. So let's jump into it and I'll show you which ones you should be using. So we have our cut, but don't forget, I'll leave the paper or the plastic wrap on and I'll go ahead and grab myself a bushing. It's a lot easier to get this bushing around if you have that plastic or paper in place because you're gonna work that bushing down into the metal clad. So now we're gonna be protecting our conductors from the sharp edges of the metal clad. Now I have used the wrong connector in the past. Do not use standard Romex connectors, you want the specific connectors. I like these saddle connectors, which you'd run down, pull that down where you see the bushings flush with the front of the connector, and then you just tighten that saddle down, and that's gonna tighten it down on the MC protection itself, and then that's what's really gonna keep it in place. Then if you had your box, that's where you slide it through, put our connector through, get our nut on, Tighten it up. Then if you have these little wrenches, makes it super convenient to tighten that down. And then you're good to go. So now you have it cut to length. We have it properly protected with our bushing and a saddle connector. And we have our over six inches of conductor length for the junction box. Hopefully that helped you out. And don't forget there's links in the description for the parts and tools that we use just in case you need those for your reference. Now, if you need a little more direction on properly cutting metal clad cable to make it an easy job and have a nice clean cut, check out this video right here. I'll run you through three different options that you have. So thanks for joining us on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.